We now learn how to multiply complex numbers by scalars. In other words, how to multiply them by real numbers. And for that, we're going to work through the example that we have here. We're given a complex number, z equals to 2 plus 3i, and we're asked to find 4z, in other words, 4 times z, and negative 5z, which is negative 5 times z. So let me quickly move this question to the side. There we go. To multiply any complex number by a real number, we use the following rule. Given a complex number, say z, which equals to a plus ib, and some real number which I'll call k, then k times z is equal to k times a plus ib, where a plus ib is written in parentheses. All we have to do to multiply z by k is distribute this k across the parentheses. In other words, k times z is equal to ka plus i times kb. And that's the rule. So, using that rule, let's go ahead and answer these two questions. Question 1, we need to find 4z. So 4 times z is equal to 4 times, in parentheses, 2 plus 3i. Now, following the rule we just wrote in red, all we have to do is distribute this 4 across the parentheses. So that would equal to 4 times 2 plus 4 times 3i. In other words, 4z is equal to 4 times 2, which is 8, plus 4 times 3i, which would be 12i. And that's the answer. We now answer question 2. And so question 2, we need to find negative 5z. Well, again, all we have to do is write negative 5 times, in parentheses, 2 plus 3i. And once more, we simply distribute this negative 5 across the parentheses, which leads to negative 5 times 2 minus 5 times 3i. In other words, negative 5z is equal to negative 10 minus 15i. And that's the final answer. And so that's how we can multiply a complex number by a scalar. And that's it for this tutorial.